That can be a good start for every day, Bezrat Hashem. Every day we can start like that. It's great, Mamash. It's wonderful. We're dedicating the Shi'ur for the honor of the holy righteous man, the Baba Sali. Rabbi Israel Abu Khatsera. I heard once from Rav Shalom that he said that if you see Am Israel are running after one righteous man, after a tzaddik, they're honoring him, they're, they're going after him, they, they love him, they appreciate him. So don't think Am Israel are stupid. They're very wise. They know what they're doing. I remember once, you know what, when we had our first uh, celebration, when we reached uh, 10,000 uh, views on our uh, Muna channel, so we were on the bus to the Baba Sali. We had 10,000 views. We we're so excited, we we're so happy. Baruch Hashem. Now we have it in a month or in a week or whatever. Baruch Hashem. Things are running fast. Now less than a month, we have 10,000. 10,000 every couple of weeks, Baruch Hashem. So you see that the merit of Baba Sali is uh, affecting us, Baruch Hashem. I remember that once I heard from Rav Shalom a long conversation on faith in Chachamim and recognizing the good appreciation to Chachamim. And he was telling that very famous vote on, on Moshe Rabbeinu. I mentioned that few times in my classes, that Moshe Rabbeinu, he was leading us and he was saving us, redeeming us from Egypt and bringing us to our Eretz Israel. And then everyone hears that Moshe Rabbeinu is about to die. He's not entering to Eretz Israel. He's gonna stay in the desert. and. Some Israel are respecting Yeshua and they're honoring Yeshua and they're accepting him and they're moving on with Yeshua to Eretz Israel. And it's a horrible mistake, horrible mistake, horrible mistake. Moshe Rabbeinu, when he heard that Am Israel are, are going to die, there was a decree on Am Israel, he, he stopped it. He didn't let it happen. He went up to, to, to Mount Sinai and he's going and he's arguing with Hashem and he's fighting and he's, and he's doing everything he can do with that simple understanding that he doesn't want Am Israel to be hurt for no reason. And then when it's the decree is coming on him that he's supposed to do, to go back to heaven, to go back to to Hashem. So Ram Israel, okay. They really they they mourned him and they respected him. It was a nice funeral. They really they were supposed to stop him. <laughs> they were supposed to say, if he is not coming with us, we're not getting into Eretz Israel. Also, we're not accepting that decree, and we're paying for that until this day, until today. The righteous people, they sacrifice themselves so much for, for us, for each and every one of us. How, how we woke up? Tell me the secret. How we woke up? There was no way in the world, no chance in the world that any of us are going to wake up to serve Hashem Midbarach. We were far from Torah and Mitzvot. We didn't have no holy, pure will, to, no desire to go to Shul, to Beit Midrash. We Baal Tshuva, you remember yourself, when you were 15, when you were 20, when you were 30, you weren't searching for Hashem in Barach so much, right? So, and a sin drags another sin, so you were going down. And suddenly, in one day, a mikveh woke you up, a gemara woke you up, a Shabbos woke you up, a certain Jewish song woke you up, some meeting with a certain person or a rabbi woke you up, something happened. Why did it happen to you? There is a person that is standing like a Baba Sali, like Master of Prayer, standing and praying for you. And from his tears, from his tears, you, you, you woke up. Some grandmother, some righteous man from a different generation maybe, some prayer, something have brought you to wake up and to do tshuva. Like that I said to Rav Shalom once, I told him, I, I, I asked him, how can it be that we have so much good in our lives? And, 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 and I had such a huge appreciation and gratitude to Hashem and to our Rav on that. And Rav Shalom told me, I pulled you here with my prayers and you fell into a jar of honey. And it's true, it's 100% true. 
Rav Shalom would take his students every week to do one hour in Am Israel, one hour in Bodedut on Am Israel, and, and, and hours and hours of tefillot. Can you ignore it? Can you ignore the, the, the Shefa? Can you ignore the, 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 the power of, of, of thousands of hours of prayers of Am Israel on Am Israel? And this is why righteous people, we, we have to appreciate their effort. We have to appreciate, to recognize, to understand, to have appreciation to everything they've done to us. When I gave a class in, in the Hilula of Rabbi Natan, I said that Rabbi Natan, the first meaning of the word Rabbi Natan is Rabbi Natan. I, I got it all from my rabbi. Rabbi Natan, I got it from my rabbi. That's Rabbi Natan. My rabbi gave it to me. And now you have that appreciation. You can go and work alone. Now you remember your Rabbi. You can be Yoshua to go and inherit the land to Eretz Yitoam Israel. No problem, Yoshua. Yoshua haven't done nothing wrong. Yoshua is great. He's righteous. He's a student. Everything is perfect. But Yoshua, you need to remember Moshe. That's the secret. That's the appreciation, the gratitude that each and every one of us have to have to all of the righteous people. To all of the righteous people, because you don't know from who you received the Shefa. Okay, you might have met that rabbi, like I had a very deep and long relationship with Rav Shalom, so great, I know that I received a lot, a lot from him. I met more rabbis, I know that I received more from them, but it doesn't mean that I know exactly where I received it all from. Maybe you have some grandfather that, that was a very righteous man and he was praying on his seed, on, on, on his legacy. And maybe you had some grandmother that she was crying while she was reading Tehillim. I'm talking 200 years ago. So this is why we need to work on, on, on faith in Chachamim, to have appreciation, to love them. And especially huge tzaddikim like we know, Baba Sali. Baba Sali was crying for Am Israel for hours and hours and hours and hours a day, every day. And he was talking to people and people would come to his, to his Beit Midrash and he would meet people. Thousands of people he met in his life, thousands of people. And giving classes and teaching. Once he went to the, to the Bet Knesset in the morning, and of course everyone would respect him, people would stand up to honor him. He said, after the prayer, he said, if the next time that I will come to the Bet Knesset, you will stand up for me to respect me, I'm not coming again to this Bet Knesset. I'm not coming here anymore. I don't want you to respect me. Pray, you're in Bet Knesset, Daven Shacharit. Pray Shacharit, what do you want from me? I'm coming to pray with you. Be busy in your shacharit. Pray shacharit. I'm coming to pray also. If you're going to stand up to respect me again, I'm not coming again to the shul. I'm not coming to Bet Knesset again. People not after honor. We're talking about righteous people. Not about honorable people, important people, prime minister people, imaginations people. We're talking about righteous people, people that couldn't care less about themselves. Thinking only about Hashem, thinking only about us, about Am Israel, about how to wake us up, how to help us, how to open our eyes, how to make our heart alive, heart, flesh and bone, heart, heart that, that, that beats, hearts that alive, hearts that can feel. And that's all of their desire, those righteous people. That's all of their desire. They don't want nothing else. They couldn't care less about money and about honor. Rabbi Israel of Odesser, after he passed away, they found more than two million shekels under his bed. Two, he lived all of his life in poverty. He was receiving from Social Security and some other funds, I don't know what, money. He w and from that treasure, two million shekels, something like that, huge amount of money. He saved all of his life. They established the Karen of, of Afatza of Rabbi Israel of Odesser. And millions of books are spreading of Rabbi Nachman Breslev in the world by the merit of that righteous man that he wouldn't eat and he wouldn't buy nothing to himself. And he lived in one room apartment and under his bed he had two million shekel savings. All of his life he wouldn't take nothing from it. He dedicated it all to the Afatza, and he himself couldn't build that factory, so his students took it, and they done it, and that's that huge Karen, or Karen Afatza, for Israel of Odesser. No one can, can, can compete that, that Karen uh, in distribution in Afatza. They changed the face of the universe for sure with the name, name of Rabbeinu Kadosh. 
And it's the merit of Saba Israel. It's not the merit of the Nanachim that are jumping. The fact that they're jumping, they have the power to jump and to be happy is because of the Saba. It's because of Rabbi Israel of Odesser that, that was praying and he was crying. Rav Berland said on, on Rabbi Israel of Odesser that there was no righteous man like him in the generation and that he could be Mashiach. He said that you could never see, meet someone that will hold the Sefer Likutet Filot, the prayers of Rabbi Nathan, and read it from the beginning till the end. He said he could sit and read with tears. For three hours, the Likutet Filot, the prayers of Rabbi Nathan. So every Hasid the Bresler, they open the Likutet Filot once in a while, reading a page at Filot of Rabbi Nathan, fulfilling the obligation of, of saying Likutet. He said he would cry and cry for three hours straight. Three hours. Three hours sitting and crying. Those are the righteous people. And now people can talk. No, Nanachim, Nanachim. They don't know who you're talking about. Don't talk appreciation, love and honor to the righteous people. Because you don't know who you're talking about. You don't know who is he, what, maybe he gave you your life and you don't know it. Maybe you're alive only because of him. Maybe you're alive only because of, um, because of some other righteous man. This is why it's better not to talk and always to have love and appreciation to the righteous people, to all of those righteous people, because they're huge. Because they are building the, the world, building the world. Because Kadosh Baruch Hu, He gives His eyes and His heart and the power of prayer to those righteous people. And especially the ones that you can see that Am Yisrael are going in the Hilula to, to like Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, like Rabbi Meir Baal Anes, like the Baba Sali Kadosh, like Rabbi Nachani Breslev, like Rabbi Levi Tzankim Berdichov, the Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh, Rabbi Aaron Mibels, huge tzaddikim. You cannot argue, you cannot open your mouth just to have honor and appreciation and love to those righteous people. And that's maybe how we're going to fix what that we damaged with, with Moshe Rabbeinu, that we haven't appreciated him enough at all, at all, at all. If someone gave you your life, how can you pay back? <coughs> only with your life. Only with your life. Only if you're going to give him life, only if you give him your life, if you're going to dedicate your life to help that person, you can pay back or not, or else you cannot pay back. And it's okay. Maybe you cannot pay back. But at least you should want to. You should have such appreciation that you will say, when you're going to need me, I'll be there for you. And Moshe Rabbeinu, he needed us. Moshe Rabbeinu, he wanted to go into Eretz Israel with all of his heart. So okay, he accepted the decree. He wasn't arguing with Hashem with Barach. He accepted it. But we, we were not supposed to accept that decree. We were supposed to cry. We were supposed to fight for the soul of Moshe Rabbeinu, for the person, Moshe, that he took us out from Egypt. If the Torah didn't wrote that we were fighting for his soul, so we didn't. <laughs> the Torah would mention a huge thing like that. Atzeret filah, three days of prayer, fast, no, that Moshe will not going to die. When Moshe is telling Yahushua going to lead you to Eretz Israel, he going to be the one. Okay, we knew. We cannot say, no, he, suddenly he disappeared, suddenly he went. No, he told us. He was crowning Yahushua in his life. He gave the power, the leadership to Yahushua when he was alive. We saw it happens. We saw that it's coming and we accepted it. Okay, so now Yahushua, let's see if we can have nice connections with Yahushua. Let's see now, maybe we can have some nice, uh, we maybe... Maybe we're going to be the Mishamshim of Yahushua. Maybe we're going to help. Okay, so you left Moshe Rabbeinu behind. And it's wrong. It's 100% wrong. It's not allowing. We have to fix it. And to fix it, it's at least to want to fix it. At least to put all of our lives into fixing it. And today we have a lot of opportunities because we can show our appreciation to righteous people in this generation. To all of the righteous people that you believe and you see that they're giving you life. I was in the Ilula of the Baba Sali. I went to the Ilula of the Baba Sali. I was doing such it Duyot over there. You could see that it's coming from a different place. You could see. I met a friend of mine that I haven't met for maybe close to 10 years over there. When I, and, and I met him and it was such a... Such a such a, a pleasure, a, a, a joy for, for both of us to meet each other. And you see that there is a supervision and there is charm and there is grace and there is beauty and there is spirituality in those places. So believe in that and, and have that appreciation. 
It's very important for each and every one of us to remember where we received it all from. It's all by the merit of the righteous people. Like that Rabbeinu is writing on Yosef HaTzadik that there is that righteous man, that he is the beauty and the glory, the, 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 the Pe'er, the Yofi of all of the world, and that's Yosef HaTzadik. And the Rabbeinu is explaining in Likutei Moran that by the merit of Yosef HaTzadik, you can feel the sweetness in the fruits that you eat in your house. You now take an apple in your house, and by the merit of Yosef, by the merit of righteous people, now it tastes good. Oh, my wife, you made amazing dinner. I made... Your wife, she cannot move a finger. She's alive because of the merit of the righteous people that are standing and fighting and inspiring us and giving us the will and the holy desire to build things and to do things and to create. And you can see it once in a while that she received a wake up, a call from the Tehillim or from some class or from some Rebetzin that she is inspired from a certain rabbi or it's coming from those roots. And it, it, it is true, you need to investigate, you need to find, you need to work, you need to put that effort to have to find the, the, the reasons for the appreciation. It's not coming for free. Okay, so Hashem, you said that Moshe needs to go and uh, that now you're sure going to give us the land. Okay, we, we, have, we haven't killed Moshe. No one said that you killed Moshe. No one said that you killed Moshe, but, but you let him die. It's like to kill. So we need to remember that and we need to do tshuva. And like we said, to do tshuva, it's not to be more religious, to length our, our to grow our beards to buy another tzitzit. It doesn't call to do tshuva. To do tshuva, it's to confess. To do tshuva, it's to regret. It's to stand in front of Hashem Barach and to tell him, Father in heaven, I'm sorry, I wasn't appreciating the righteous people enough. I wasn't appreciating my rabbi enough. I wasn't appreciating the righteous people from different old generations enough. Maybe I will do something. Maybe I'll do Seuda for the Tzadikim. Maybe I'll go to Kirvet Tzadikim and I'm going to finish the Sefer Tehilim. I'm going to say Tikkun Aklali. Maybe I'm going to pray for the souls. You know how many children of the Baba Sali are walking between us today? You know, you can meet them, in, you can meet them all over the world. You can meet them. Huge, huge rabbis. And they're alive and they're between us. Huge rabbis, holy rabbis, and we're not appreciating them enough. And of course, of course, of course, not to talk. And not to put your mouth, and especially not your heart, in the arguments between righteous people. And not to talk on no one, not to say one bad word on a righteous man ever, never. You can say, I don't understand. You can say, I'm backing off. I'm walking away from that. I don't understand. Rabbeinu is saying, when you see an argument between righteous people, mean you see two opinions. That's it. You saw an argument. You saw disagreement between two righteous people. It's to rebuke you that you defected the, the covenant, that you have Bagamta Babrit. That's why you saw arguments. Actually, both are saying, Divrei Lokim Chaim. Both of the opinions are straight from the mouth of God. Just you cannot see it. Why? Because you pagam tababrit. You defected. You sinned. So now for you, it looks twisted. For you, it looks bent. For you, it looks like two opinions. It's one. It's all coming from one source. It's all one Torah that came out from the mouth of Moshe when he received it from one God. One Torah from one God on Mount Sinai. In that awesome, amazing day, and the Moshe kibel Torah misinai, and he handed to Yeshua, and Yeshua to the Zkenim, and Zkenim to the Nevi'im, and Nevi'im is sawal and Shek Nesta And then it's spreading and spreading and spreading, and you have to hold on strong to that branch that is connecting you, that bringing you back to the roots, to that trunk, to that roots of that tree, to Moshe Rabbeinu, back to Moshe. And in the Gemara Kedoshah, one of the Tanaim is saying to the other, Moshe Shapir Ka'amart, Moshe, it's a wonderful thing that you said. And his name wasn't Moshe at all. His name is not Moshe. And his friend is telling him, Moshe, it was an amazing thing you just said. Why? Because it's all Torah Moshe. And if the righteous people nullify themselves enough that the Torah is coming out from their mouth, so it's the Torah Moshe, so they become to be Moshe. 
It's true, it's written that Moshe Rabbeinu, his face looked like the sun, and Yoshua, his face, look, face looked like the, the moon. Great, but the moon holds the light of the sun. It's the same light. You, you're right, it's not great as the light of Moshe. It's Yoshua's face, right, you, it's true. It's not the same. But we also don't have the ability to receive from Moshe Rabbeinu. So you have to receive it from the next generation and from the next generation. The faith that Rav Shalom is opening in Garden of Faith in Gana Emunah is written in Likute Moharan, but no one can, no one can find it. <laughs> it's written. It's written inside the Likute Moharan. No one can find it. No one can reach that level of faith without Gana Emunah today. No one. And I will tell you a secret, also not from Gana Emunah. Because if I wouldn't sit in front of Rav Shalom for more than 10 years every day and look at him and see and hear, and it's not the same to read from the book what that you can receive from the tzaddik himself. Conversations in the middle of the night and in Motzei Shabbat knocking at the door at, at 11.30 and coming and begging and crying and talking and, and, and whining and complaining and sometimes even arguing and asking for forgiveness and asking for an advice and... That cause shimush. Only like that you can pull out information, you can pull out Kedusha purity from that well. Only by shimush. Like the Gemara is saying that even if a person sat and learned all of the Torah and he know it all by heart and he haven't had shimush Talmidei Chachamim, he wasn't helping righteous people, he's an Amaaretz, not a Talmid Chacham. An Amaaretz, a boo, an ignorant person. He knows all the Gemara by heart, all of the Zohar, everything, with all the Mepharshim, everything, Shulchan Aruch, Tur, everything, great, perfect, Amaretz, ignorant, boo. Why? Because he didn't help righteous people. Because he haven't learned humility. He haven't learned appreciation. He thinks, I'm a Talmud Chacham. He's ignorant. He's arrogant. He doesn't have no brain, no heart. Because in Hashem la tzaddikim, because Hashem gives the eyes, his eyes to the righteous people. And on that we say, Ashraim Sharuta and I praised are the eyes that saw the eyes. Because from his eyes, from his the shiny eyes, from his will, from, from what did you know him, from what that you saw him, from what that you understood him, from what did you pray so much for him, this is how you bought from him his will, his understanding, his power. To stand against all difficulties and never to back off. Never to back off. So by the merit of Baba Sali and for the honor of Baba Sali, we we're talking about that concept of, of, of faith in Chachamim, of, of appreciation to Chachamim, of recognizing the good, the bounty, the Shefa, Look, all of Eretz Israel is full with graves of tzaddikim, of righteous people from Tanaim or Moraim generation. They're protecting the land. You think the IDF protects the land? You think that the army, the police, who? No one. Only the merit of the tzaddikim that are in the border of Lebanon and in the border of the West and in Be'er Sheva. And they're protecting the land. And in Jerusalem, you have David Amelech and you have Western Wall. There are Aronoset Nosav. The Holy Ark takes the people that, 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 that holds it up in the air. They're flying with the Holy Ark. They cannot carry the Ark. Who can touch the Ark? What, what was his name? Uzzah? The one that tried to touch the, the Aaron? Mm -hmm. Uzzah. There was a soldier of David, one of the Hasidim of David Amelech. Uzzah was his name. He saw that the, that the ark was about to fall. He thought that he going to save the ark from, from the disgrace, from falling. He wanted to do something good. He touched the ark. He died. You cannot touch the ark. You cannot. You're not Indiana Jones. <laughs> not everyone are able to touch the holy ark. Uzzah couldn't do it. Uzzah couldn't do it. But you see so many from the tribe of Aaron, the Leviim, are taking the Aaron and they're taking it and, and how they're doing it. They're doing it because when Hashem wants it to happen, so it happens. You want to be close to Tzadikim. I heard an interview to the Iton Mishpacha that were 
interviewing Rav Shalom and they ask him how you went so close to Rav Levovich. Echit karavta ala Rav Levovich. So Rav Shalom answered, I didn't went close to him. He brought me closer to him. To righteous people like those, you cannot approach. You cannot come to them at all. You will never going to hear about them even. You will not going to know that they exist. Shalom Aleichem, welcome Shalom. You will never going to hear on their existence if they don't want you to be there. If you heard about the Baba Sali, if you heard about Rabbi Nachman Breslev, if you heard about Rabbi Milubavitch, if you've been in his grave, in his tziyun, means someone invited you. means that the tzaddik, that the Rebbe, he wants you there. He, with his merits, with his chuyot, he's got enough merits to bring all of us to do tshuva, to come to his grave and to receive that inspiration and to wake up and to say, wow, thank you, Hashem, from this day and on, where you got all of that great will? You got it straight from Hashem. You got it from heaven by the merit of the tzaddikim. Thank you very much. Chazak uvaruch. Yishan koch. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Obi from the Imuna channel here in Jerusalem. Subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to Rav Dror. So show me some love. Show Rav Dror some love. Subscribe to the channel. We post new videos almost every single day. Awesome classes like this. If you have any questions on the classes you just watched or just other questions that you have or comments that you want to tell us, post them in the comments below. And we do a question and answer session every single week. So we'll either answer your question in that on video or we'll make sure to get you an answer. And of course, check out immunachannel.com. Awesome website where we have tons more inspirational content. We have videos, blogs, music, and all sorts of cool stuff. So get involved over there at immunachannel.com, and we'll see you in the comments.